All right, I didn't think I'd have to talk about another con so soon, but I was scrolling through TikTok today, and on my For You page, I saw some stuff happening at SakuraCon, which is currently going on right now. And while I was scrolling through, I found a TikTok that was talking about how Artist Alley is getting screwed over by SakuraCon. I'm going to play two TikToks back to back. I might have to mute the music because of copyright, but you will see what I'm talking about. And then we'll discuss. Setting up my table for Artist Alley, SecuraCon, I went to go grab my badge and found out that registration for Artist Alley is three blocks down the street. Come to find out, the convention is three blocks down the street and they stuck Artist Alley in some annex building away from everything. Um, and after walking in the pouring rain to come get my badge, I am not super happy about that. So we'll see how the weekend goes. So as you can see, the artists are definitely getting screwed over here because what con attendee is going to want to have to go through all the rain and a 15 minute walk to go to Artist Alley? I feel like 90% of con attendees would just say, screw it, it's not worth it and just take their money elsewhere and spend it on something else in the con. Let me know in the comments, would you travel 15 minutes in the pouring rain to the artist alley? I mean, I would probably make one trip maximum because Seattle is known for rain. I don't know why you would think putting it in a separate building that far away was a good idea. Absolutely a stupid idea on Sakura Khan's part. And I feel bad for all these artists because I dug a little bit deeper to see how much they were losing on profits and what everyone else was thinking. So let's look at the screenshots here. So as you can see the TikTok comments for the second video, that's much too far away. They should have charged $15 for your booth. Yeah, near $400 to be at basically a separate event. $400 for that. I feel like a lot of artists are not gonna make back their money on this convention. And it seems like they were not aware of where the location was going to be either. This has never happened in cons past from what I was looking at, that Artist Alley used to be cramped from what I saw in other comments, but this ain't it. This is not the solution to move it to a completely separate building 15 minutes away in the pouring rain. That's definitely not it. Artist Alley is actually where the main stage and exhibitors and the whole con used to be. It used to be in the bottom floor of the conference center. I think conventions should always be in one building. I left Dragon Con after a day because of how difficult it was to navigate and long lines to get. I completely agree that a con should be in one building. Otakon is a prime example for me where it's kind of in two buildings, but at least they're right next to each other. If you want to take pictures, you have to go to the hotel next door. To me, if your con cannot fit in one building, you need to expand. Maybe that's a hot take. Maybe, Juby, that's not possible. But once like the licensing expires or the lease or whatever, you have for renting out that building for your con space. If your con is getting bigger, you need to look elsewhere. Maybe hot take, but I, I stand by what I said. And then I went to Twitter as well to see if people were talking about this. These are under all of these Sakura Khan's Twitter official posts. I'm very early on this information because Sakura Khan just started today. A lot of this information is brand new and we could get updates, things could get better, but I don't know how you could remedy the situation currently. Someone said, y'all gonna offer shuttles just to get to Artist Alley? Cause y'all are wildin' if you think I'm gonna be swimming over there in this rain. And then I saw 
a few other complaints about Sakura Khan at the moment. I'm hoping we don't have another terrible Khan on our hands. I've heard good things about Sakura Khan in the past, but right now we have people saying, where are people supposed to go to get inside? The building is still locked and there's no signage. Your schedule app keeps freezing and crashing. So it seems like Artist Alley might not be the only problem with Sakura Khan. If you're at Sakura Khan, let me know what your experience is down in the comments below. I just wanted to signal boost what is happening to artists currently. I know I'm a small channel with 2K subscribers, but I wanted to signal boost these TikToks as much as possible. I will link the TikToks that I featured in this video in the description if you want to further boost what's happening at SakuraCon. If I get any updates, I will either post another video depending on the information or I will use my community tab to update with anything that I hear about SakuraCon. If you like seeing these anime slash convention related videos, I do them occasionally. I've talked about Anime NYC. I've talked about KatsuCon. So if you want to see more of these, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you did enjoy this video, it would help if you gave it a like. And I will see you for the next video. Thank you for watching.